Commander Shepard, do you have a minute? Can I help you? Jordan Knowles, E-Crimes. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. I've got a saboteur hacking key systems, power, communications. It's bad. If you've got time to help, check out this console. Got it. it. Looks like a collection of access codes. They're Batarian diplomatic codes, from back when they had an embassy on the Citadel. If you can use your Spectre access to find them, I can shut them down. I can access restricted intel at the Spectre office in the embassy. If I find anything, I'll let you know. We have to keep enforcing the law. Same as always. Without that, everything goes to hell. Look at Palavin, my friend. We're in hell. We should be looking for terrorists. The rest can take care of itself. So the bar fights, the drunken disorderlies down by that purgatory place? How does cracking down on that crap help us win the war? People need to blow off steam right now. And how does letting the misdemeanors go help the war? Less time spent on the light stuff means the Citadel has more money for defense. Everyone on the Citadel knows we're at war now. You have to show them that CSEC is still in control. They need that security. The commander's right. We need people coming into work every day. We need things to keep running. Otherwise, today's bar fight could be tomorrow's street riot. Yeah, maybe you're right. This feels so damn petty right now. I just don't understand why you're suddenly so conflicted. Look, the asshole's in custody now. Killing him won't bring anyone back. It's about justice. The man is a traitor and a murderer. You saw what he did to your wife, to my husband. And didn't bat an eyelash. He's evil, there's no doubt. What's going on here? I'm in position at CSEC. Draw them away, and I'll move in and make the kill. Don't answer that. Commander Shepard. Guess I know what happened to my backup. Excuse me? Come on. I'm in CSEC in civilian gear with a weapon. I know what I'm made. Just let me explain. Captain Aaron Summers, Alliance Marines, retired. Captain Summers? There's a prisoner here. CSEC officer who helped Cerberus. CSEC caught him when you stopped the coup. Now he's offering them intel on Cerberus to get a better deal. Why are you telling me this? Because he doesn't deserve a better deal. He killed people during the coup, good people. And he's former Alliance, like us. The way I figure it, he's our problem to fix. If you gun that man down, you're dishonoring the uniform just as much as he did. Like hell I am. I don't like plea bargains any more than you do, but the intel we get will save lives. Says who? Our superiors. The people we swore to serve and trust. Captain Summers. Yes, Commander. Sorry, Commander. I'll shut it down. Thanks. Arriving at docking 
bay D-24. I've got your briefing, Private. Let's fill you in before the squad arrives. The Alliance is posting us to an Ezo mining facility on Zani. It's a low-gravity planet, toxic atmosphere. You'll be expected to maintain full survival gear. Any questions? Are we playing security, Sergeant Olenby? No, Private. We are not. No replacement has been selected. I know the Valhalla threshold is Reaper territory now, but Prothean Tech could help the cruise. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I'm aware this is an unsecured channel. Y yes, understood. Thank you, ma'am. Shepard, I don't know what to say. I'm trying to go over everything in my head, make sense of it. Your bandages were still fresh. How did you end up working with Adina? You saw me in the hospital. I was going crazy. Felt like I was letting everyone down. When Udina offered to make me a specter, I thought it was a chance to do some good. I couldn't just sit back and watch either. Yeah. But it sure turned into a mess. I never wanted to put you in that situation. We're on the same side. I can't believe it came to that. We were so close to... Ash, it's okay. We figured it out. We stopped Adina and got to walk away. That's the important part. I can't believe he was responsible for all of it. Was he indoctrinated? It's hard to say. How do we fight something that can worm its way into your head? I don't know. But we don't have a choice. I wanted to talk to you about that. Hackett asked me to join his team. It's a great offer, but... I'd prefer to ride this thing out aboard the Normandy. Permission granted. Couldn't do this without you. I'll grab my gear. And Ash? Yeah? It's good to have you back. Yes, sir. Shepard, I got Anderson patched in. I was just getting him up to speed. Odina? That SOB was always power hungry. But this? He wasn't in charge. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? I don't know. Not yet. Could have been a lot worse. Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Counselor Valorn. Kyline. What? Your assassin. I'll have Hackett send you my reports on him. I take it you two have met. Kaylee Sanders and I had our share of run-ins with him. I shot him in both legs once. Thought that might be the end of him. But it should have begun on Omega even stronger. Elusive man patch him up? That'd be my guess. Given what they were able to do with you and Grayson. It's a safe bet Lang's even more dangerous now. I'll take whatever advantage I can get against these bastards. Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari counselor. They're requesting an update on the Crucible. Lang has them scared. Enough to send help? Mm. Yes, the Asari and Solarians are both throwing in their support now. How's your progress on the Crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly? Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean specific. Hmm. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is, how will it dispense the energy? And in what form? You mean, how do you stop it from wiping us all out? Exactly. 
We think the catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy, how to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. I'm working on that. You'll find the answer, Shepard. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. You've always trusted me. I won't let you down. We're still in this. The gods of war haven't given up on us yet. Good luck, both of you. Anderson out. Commander, the Tyrian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships. And Aquarians are willing to talk. Understood, sir. I'll look into it. Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. Shepard, do you have a moment? A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Something they can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but... I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. something interesting. Have you got a minute? Commander, I found something you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the Crucible. Maybe we could recruit them. Lots of Cerberus people think they're doing the right thing. I know I did. And you were right, Commander. Whatever crimes Cerberus is committing now, I was on Horizon when the Collectors attacked. Really? You'll recall I mentioned growing up in the Terminus systems. I was visiting my family at home. While the Alliance was running studies, you were saving me and my family. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? I believe so, yes. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. It's on the map now, Commander. Thanks.
So Cerberus wanted to go into politics, huh? Nice job shutting those assholes down. Didn't you used to work for those assholes? Something about leather seats? I worked for Cerberus when they were vigilantes helping the helpless. Now they're a little too mainstream. And evil. The important thing is that you kick their asses. And also that Ash aced the don't shoot your commander portion of the Normandy reinstatement test. Go easy on Ash. He's been through a lot. Yeah, like drawing a gun on a superior officer, nearly getting the council killed. That's not gonna look good on the yearly performance review. Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachunka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Moss. That was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. The Reapers are more fallible than they proclaim. Despite its best efforts, the one on Tachunko was destroyed by a worm. This has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. You're worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? It's not that different from organic life. A free-willed synthetic chooses what it wants. But the purpose of organic life is to preserve itself long enough to replicate copies of its genes in succeeding generations. My purpose is not so clear. The other successful synthetic life forms that I have examined for comparison are the Geth. And the Reapers. Reproduction isn't all there is. We find meaning in the work we do. Good deeds we accomplish. Love. I see. I will search my files on the biographies of humans to see if prominent figures follow the pattern you suggest. It appears many humans did in fact do so. That was quick. <laughs> Gotta love quantum computing. Shepard, I will alter my processing power to give priority to your stated goals. Duty, altruism, love. Wait, wait, you're just gonna turn yourself good? Can you do that? It should take some time. If I have further questions, I will speak with you again. Thank you. Commander, Dr. Chakras sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the med bay. Shepard. Hell of a day. Udina loses his mind, the Citadel almost falls, and you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? I don't see how. We start killing our friends, and war turns into murder. But it doesn't always give us the easy way out, does it? At least Ash didn't have to join Caden. Let's hope he's looking out for us. This was his fight, too. Good to have Ash back. We can always use a friendly gun. Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees? Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. Isn't this something you could do yourself? War profiteering is running rampant, and these refugees are wary of the Alliance military. They didn't trust me. But you are Commander Shepard, the hero. You could persuade them. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. 
Thank you, Commander. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medigel. reports on the council doctor their security is in disarray but it would still be weeks before we could attempt to position any agents in their personal staff and it's far too risky after odina's coup postpone those deployments at once good to see you again shepherd greetings commander Good to see you. Good to see you. attack by Cerberus, repelled by CSEC. Alliance Marines explain the Council Fleet's delayed response. We speak with the brave men and women who fought the good fight in the battle space. Call me up when you're ready for that interview, Commander. Traitors are the worst form of enemy. In our cycle, we would remove their limbs one by one and offer them a choice. Eat their own flesh or starve. Your politician deserved far worse than a bullet. And if the other human had not seen reason, her death would be certain too. There is only one enemy in this war. Reapers. No others would be tolerated. So, I hear the elusive man drinks bourbon. It all makes sense now. What do you mean? You love whiskey? Hey, Scotch, my dear girl. That scunner drinks American bourbon. Completely different. He's a psychotic megalomaniac, and you've got problems with his choice of liquor? You've obviously never experienced the peat aroma of a fine Eli Scotch. Need anything, Commander? Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. Those FBA couplings you got us are still holding up. My board is green. My board is green. Shepard. Shepard, thanks again for being there at the refugee memorial. I feel better. Everything's so much clearer now. Glad I could help.
Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. Well, Commander, ready to play? Play? I picked up a chessboard on the Citadel. GUI interface, not nearly as nice as real pieces, but this takes up less space. And I recall you delivered something that closely resembled a challenge. So, interested? This is a trap, isn't it? I'm just a simple lab scientist, Commander. I'm sure your real-world expertise will give you an edge. Ha! Oh, come on! <laughs> My word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 eight eight square grid. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line, like the Krogan, can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep him in line. Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punchline. I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yes. Trainer, can you send Diana up? She wanted an interview. Right away, Commander. Ready for a chat, Commander? I'm ready. Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? Cerberus has limited resources. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do, and it cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They've failed as many times as they've succeeded. But humanity has lost its counselor. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. All right. Now a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battlespace. Good night and stay strong. Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this, and I'll follow you home. Looks like you already have. What happens now? You gave me a good interview, Commander. That's all I need. Tonight. James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. On my way. Hey, man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. <laughs> you just come up here to make fun of your commander? Sorry, loco. I guess... Maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or did you think about it before accepting? The N7 program is a big deal, but it's also a big commitment. I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well, 
Even all the shit that's going on, somebody, somewhere, managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. Hell, I'd have kicked my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings. Then the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collector ship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yeah. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There's not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed. Either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Assuming we survive this, that's a no-brainer. You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here are it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. I'll take your word for it. Thanks again, loco. Anytime.